After years of diligently saving, your Heritage Education Fund's RESP is finally ready to pay off. On July 31st, your RESP will mature and you'll need to choose the payout option that best suits your family's situation. An email notification will have been sent prior to July 31st, advising you to log on to the Secure Subscriber online website, available at heritageresp.com, to complete the online maturity process. Heritage offers flexible plan options, and it's important to explore and understand them. Your first choice is the scholarship option, best suited for students pursuing two, three, or four years of eligible studies. Benefits of this option include having your contributions returned to you tax-free at maturity. Depending on the option you choose, you can receive an EAP in your child's second, third, or fourth years of eligible studies. Government grants and attrition being added to your child's EAPs are included. Under the two-year option, up to 25% of the sales charges are returned. Under the three-year option, up to 50%, and under the four-year option, up to 100%. Please remember, to release your EAP, you must provide proof of registration in the post-secondary program for that year. The EAP will include income earned and accumulated government grants, such as the CESG, CLB, and any provincial grants. If the scholarship option is selected, you must select a two, three, or four year option. This is for students attending a two year program. Option number one provides one EAP paid in your child's second year of eligible studies, consisting of government grants, income earned on savings and government grants, and attrition. Up to 25% of the sales charges will be returned to you with your savings. For students attending a three-year program, option number two provides two annual EAPs in your child's second and third years of eligible studies. Each payment will consist of 50% of government grants, income earned on savings and government grants, and attrition. Up to 50% of the sales charges will be returned to you with your savings. For students attending a four-year program, option number three provides three annual EAPs in the second, third, and fourth years of your child's eligible studies. Each payment consists of 33.3% of government grants, income earned on savings and government grants, and attrition. Up to 100% of the sales charges will be returned to you with your savings. Please remember your Heritage RESP is flexible. If your circumstances change, it's important to inquire about the options available, such as deferral of EAPs. You may apply to advance the year of eligibility and start receiving EAPs earlier than originally scheduled. You may apply to postpone the year of eligibility and delay the first EAP. Your second choice is the self-determined option, which is best for children who either wish to pursue a program lasting less than two years or who will not be pursuing higher education. This option allows you to request your contributions less fees or your principal at any time after the maturity date. If your child is enrolled at a recognized post-secondary institution, they're also eligible to receive educational assistance payments or EAPs. This is also the right option to select if your child does not plan to pursue post-secondary education. In this scenario, you may request a payment from your RESP, which is called an Accumulated Income Payment or AIP. What is an AIP and why would you want it? If your child chooses not to pursue post-secondary education, you can apply for an AIP. This payment consists of all income earned in your plan. To receive this payment, you must meet certain requirements. In addition to these, you must also meet those of the Income Tax Act. Importantly, if your child is not pursuing post-secondary studies at a recognized institution, you will not qualify for any government grants. You will also not qualify for the return of your sales charges or for any attrition. For those attending a post-secondary institution, know that it must be accredited and you will be required to provide proof of registration or verification of enrollment. A list of approved schools is available on heritageresp.com slash maturity. You are required to provide proof of registration. The Heritage Plan is flexible, and if your child is not attending post-secondary schooling, there are still options to make use of the funds. The funds are transferable to another child, provided they have not yet exceeded the $50,000 RESP lifetime limit. Alternatively, the funds can be rolled into your or your spouse's RRSP. Congratulations on reaching this most important milestone. Thank you for allowing us to play a role in making your child's dreams of a post-secondary education come true. 
If you're ready to proceed with applying for the funds from your plan, please log in to your subscriber online profile through the heritageresp.com website to complete the online maturity process today. Please be sure to check your prospectus if you require any further details on plan maturity and how it affects you.